It doesn't nearly look that bright. You, you, you can figure because it's, uh, it's a cell phone and a dark room. But nonetheless, didn't turn out too bad. Um, and as some um, shift, but I can easily uh, adjust depth, get a different feel. Try to do, uh, make it look like they're actually sitting on this kind of little benchy logs. Let's see. I don't know. I guess I'll need to uh, come up with a, a different design. This is just the, the first one that came up in my head. I mean, what, what else are you going to do? You know, you got to test, test it out somehow. I mean, uh, granted, I, I guess I could have put a couple more layers in there, but it uh, didn't turn out too bad. Uh, everything is Arduino. Well, not everything. Um, uh, let's see. Got a 9-volt connected to a wall outlet. Whole ton of junk. Um, and, and a shoddily connected up uh, <laughs> some electrical tape under the back here. Now this guy is uh, a mess. It's just a, a fire hazard waiting to happen on the back, but uh, didn't turn out too bad. Uh, right now I just have it wired up as so. Uh, as you can tell, even the connectors for getting onto the computer are still connected up. But uh, that's that's the an off-brand Nano of the Arduino. Um, but yeah, drilled into the back and uh, connected up as such. Little strips connected in and driven by the Arduino. All in all, it's probably maybe uh, $20 of material, I guess. The the lights are the most just because they're meant to be uh, waterproof, meant for your car, like lighting on the inside of your car and stuff. So I just repurposed it. Everything else was super cheap. eBay is amazing. <laughs> anyway, that's the light box. I'll have more designs coming up since these are easily removable. Huzzah! Tinfoil box.